Welcome back into the show. Time now for our Law and You segment. We are now joined with attorney Christopher Giancola. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bare Bones crew, just me and you today. That's it. Yes. But hey, I said one of your pros, no one's going to know. All right. Let's hope. <laughs> so you guys typically, traditionally, you come and you answer different legal questions. People can submit here on the show on a variety of different topics on the law that you cover. Correct. Um, you and your partner, Mike. But today, we're going to take a little bit of a, um, a different approach and talk about you. All right. Well, <laughs> and, hopefully uh, I get the question oh, right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all about you. How could you How could you get it wrong? First off, though, um, diving into what made you get into this? What drew you to become an attorney? Well, that's a good question. It goes back a long time. I remember, now you're too young, but uh, there was a show on TV called Night Court. And it was on during the 80s <laughs> and early 90s. And it was, of course, a comedy. But I thought that the judge was just so much fun. And then also the attorneys and characters. So I always, like, had an interest in the law. Yeah. So then after that, of course, um, in high school, there was a elective class that was a law class. So we learned how to do briefs and did, like, legal arguments and things like mm -hmm. that. So I still was interested in it but I thought boy do I want to go to school for seven years uh, that's a long time a long right. commitment at 18 years old so I went up to Mount Aloysius and I studied criminology which was again still in the law yeah. realm and psychology and I took a bunch of law classes for that and as I made it up through there I enjoyed speech and speaking in front of people I enjoyed performing and doing things along those lines and I didn't want to go and join the real world yet so I took the entrance exam for law school, it's called the LSAT, mm -hmm. because my buddy was taking it, and I kind of took it on a whim because it's something I was always interested in, and didn't even study, and I really? scored pretty well. Wow. Yeah, so I thought, oh, this is the route that maybe I should go. Applied for a couple of schools, um, got into a couple, and decided to go to Widener University, which is in the Harrisburg area. And that was a great choice because, first of all, um, I was around uh, my girlfriend at the time was going to Shippensburg, mm -hmm. and she's now my wife. But oh, anyway, yeah. so we were only about 45 minutes away, mm -hmm. so we could still uh, hang out and be together. And Harrisburg just had such great opportunities yeah. uh, for the legal field. So I did my three years there and got to be picked um, for a fraternity. I was the president of our Phi Alpha Delta fraternity there and we were a service fraternity so mm -hmm. I got to go into the schools and teach the kids the law. I was part of the mock trial right. team. Yeah, yeah, do all of that fun stuff and I worked for the state police headquarters as an intern which was a really neat mm -hmm. job to get my feet wet and I was something called a certified legal intern. So what a certified legal intern is is that if I worked underneath an attorney, I could go into court, I could write briefs and all that stuff since I had already two and a half years under my belt. So that's, that's kind of what led me to becoming an attorney. I always wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like talking with people. Yeah. I like trying to figure out problems. Every day is a new day. Every day is different. Even though I do a lot of car accident cases, no car accident case is the same. Yeah, I can't. And how would you know what types of law? Because you don't do all everything. Right. I mean, how do you know what to s yeah, specify okay. in? Yeah, okay. That's a great question, too. So when I first got out of law school, I was a law clerk for a local judge, Judge Capriva. She was the president judge of our county for a great many years. And she had me doing a lot of her civil cases. And so as I was working on those civil cases, the car accident mm -hmm. cases, the slip and falls, um, people getting injured at nursing homes, all of those types of things, the attorneys that practice that type of law actually started approaching me because they liked the way that I analyzed and helped the judge um, go over the opinions and stuff with them. So I interviewed with a couple of law firms doing that, didn't get offered any jobs at that time because it was a weird time in the economy and stuff like that, but I joined the DA's office, mm -hmm. got a couple years in, and then those same firms came back calling, um, wanting me. So, kind of, by what I did for the judge, got me on that path to doing personal injury and things, and then my first job out in the real world, all right, yeah. not working for the government or anything along those lines, I represented the insurance companies. So I got to see how the insurance companies worked 
um, whenever they were trying not to pay out for claims for car accident things. And then I decided to join a different firm that all we do is represent people, yeah. injured people, workers' compensation, people that are hurt at work, people that are hurt in car accidents that slip and fall. And I find that very rewarding, um, you know, because a lot of the people I actually absolutely need to help, mm -hmm. all right? They are having the worst times in their lives. You know, um, even if you're involved in a small fender bender, it's a terrible time yeah. of trying to figure out your car. But imagine if you're like seriously injured. So I find it very rewarding. And you can see it from all angles now. Yes, Because exactly. all these little experiences really kind of led you to where you are now. Absolutely. Just so the night court paid off. Yes, exactly. Is, is it yeah. quite different now that it kind of laughable? Yes, the real world <laughs> is quite different. Not as much fun. But I yeah. love practicing law. The attorneys in the area are great. The judges are great. You know, uh, Blair County is a good place to practice law and the surrounding counties also. And I mean, you and Mike call this place home, which Absolutely. is really a special thing, you know, yep. that you're local guys, you're located here. When people call, I mean, you're the ones That's that right. are That's right. Lived in Holidaysburg, to. Duncansville, and Martinsburg my entire life. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's really a blessing to have you here in our community. And of course, you always are so gracious to answer different legal questions if people want to reach out. You know, you do free calls, consultations all that kind of stuff yes um, if people want to reach out how can they do it well of course they can go to our website at gig-law.com and they can give us a call at 814-946-1606 very good thanks so much for sharing your story Chris thank you appreciate we're trying it. to dig up some old uh, embarrassing photos but he couldn't manage to find <laughs> not it. enough time had to reach out to your mom <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> thanks Chris coming up we're gearing up for Easter